Hey guys, it's Amy from The Final Countdown, and I'm actually going to make a choice today. And today my choice is to have courage. The reason why I want to have courage is yesterday I was supposed to do a workout. Yesterday I didn't make myself a priority. Yesterday I went shopping to get groceries and things like that and let excuses get in the way and procrastinating get in the way of my workout. Usually I do it right first thing in the morning, that way I don't have that excuse. And I didn't. It's the first day that I have not stayed on schedule for three weeks and unfortunately this was day one week four yesterday. So today is week four, day two with DDP Yoga. Of course paleo has been a long time going and I'm like 240 or 50 days. It's just like nine months without soda. So I think I'm safe on that. <laughs> but today I want to have courage. Um, this morning I went ahead and I did the workout that I was supposed to do yesterday. Tonight it's like 10 o'clock at night. And even though I've had a busy day, I've cleaned, I've dealt with the children, I've, you know, cooked, I've done all of those things. I've even written a little bit to get some things out of my mind. But today I want to have courage and I want to try to do something that I haven't done yet which is two workouts in one day so that I can get back on track. Tomorrow I'm considering not taking a break. Now I've discovered that breaks are actually really crucial so I might go ahead and do it because on day four of this week. No, day five. On my technical Friday, even though it's not really the day Friday. I believe it's Tuesday. I will be doing my first one hour diamond cutter workout. But today is the day I have to have courage. Because today is one of those crucial moments along my path. It's something I've passed by a hundred times and fallen into. That spiral staircase that says, hey, you know, today you messed up. You're never going to lose weight. You're never going to make it. You're never going to... There's something keeping you... Um, the paranoia and anxiety trip down the staircase to the, to the lower path. To the path where I'm out of control. I'm not as healthy. Mind, body, and spirit. And so today I have to have courage. I have to be... I have to have courage to go beyond those fears and keep on this more centered healthy path and that's the thing is courage is not the absence of fear and I don't remember the rest of that quote but that's what's been repeating in my head courage is not the absence of fear I have to keep going I will still have fears um, although I do have a goal now <laughs> um, you know instead of just hey one day I would like to be this weight. Um, I'm actually trying to see if uh, by November 20th when my husband has an award ceremony if I can try to lose at least 20 pounds. Um, I want to be between 260 and 250 by then. Which would be great and I'd, I think I'd feel more comfortable dressing up and feeling beautiful and going to celebrate the amazing officers and my husband um, whether he wins the award or just stays nominated again he's an amazing man and he deserves this and you know I I think he also deserves a wife that's happy and healthy and that can support him because he's going out and doing courageous things and so I need to be courage courageous and take this time as a stay-at-home mom as I'm waiting for my kids to go to school and I'm waiting for the rest of my life to go on to have courage and be able to be there. Take this time to prepare for the things ahead. Have courage to be able to be that mom that my teenagers are going to need one day. To have courage to be that wife that my husband may need on that day he comes home after witnessing his first tragedy or, you know, dealing with the loss of a coworker or something like that. Because in his business, it's going to happen. Um, so I need to be, if I want to be the wife and the mother that I want to be, I have to be courageous now. And so I hope that will kind of encourage some of you guys out there. Um, I know that this video is a little impromptu, it's a little <laughs> out of place, but uh, I'm still on this journey. I know a lot of the people are on the journey and I'm meeting new people because of this journey. Um,
paleo has really helped my family in so many ways. We still have issues, though. And, but I'm getting to that point where I'm better able to discuss it with people. I'm becoming extremely educated. I'm having more time to read on it. And it's not just one of those people that just does gluten-free because it's cool. Now, I'm doing it for my health and for my family's health. Um, I don't know if you can tell I'm just in a t-shirt. But I'm looking at myself, and honestly, I think my face looks a little thinner. I could be wrong. I Go look back at one of my previous videos. But right now, I'm just going to show you guys. I've got the workout ready. I'm actually going to video myself and watch it. And see the things that I can improve on. Because, you know, you can see my house. I don't really have any mirrors of any sort. To be able to really figure out, you know, am I lunging far enough? Am I reaching deep enough? Things like that. Am I bending far enough? Things like that. So, I encourage you to do that too. Have courage to videotape yourself. I don't know if I'll play it because this is like a 30 minute workout. But, um, I hope today you will make a choice to have courage too. Um, I love you guys. And remember, I'm sending you lots of peace and love to you and your journey. And I hope you're having a great day.